Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making a mini garden resin coaster set. After I mix my part A and part B resin together, I start to pour into my molds. I mix a small amount of resin because I'm going to be doing this set in a few layers. and I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles. Since I poured a small amount of resin into each mold, I'm using a mixing stick to help push the resin to the edges of the molds. Now I'm pouring some resin into small silicone cups to add in my pigments. The first pigment I'm going to be using is this pink mica powder by Resin Pro. Next I'm using a green shade of mica powder. And for my white pigment I'm using Deepon's Ocean Wave Pigment Paste. With a wooden stick, I mix the pigment in the container before I take the small amounts into my small silicone cup. After my pigments are mixed in well, I start to add in the green pigmented resin into the bottom of the molds with my wooden stick. And this will be the grass for my flowers. I decided to add in a little bit more of the green mica powder to make it more pigmented and also added in a darker shade. Then I applied that into the molds. Once my grass is done, I'm ready to move on to the sky, so I take my white pigmented resin and with the wooden stick again, I start to drag it through the resin in the molds. I'm trying to get it to look like clouds, so I play around with it a bit until I'm happy with how it looks. Then I take my pink pigmented resin and add in little streaks here and there. And now I'm going to start carefully placing my leaves and flowers onto this layer of resin. I start by adding the leaves first, since I want the flowers to be in front of the leaves. And once I'm done adding in my leaves, then I start adding in my flowers. I'm using tweezers to add in the leaves and flowers into the mold because they're very fragile and if I used my fingers they would probably break and also get stuck to my gloves. I leave this to harden and come back the next day. I'm using an Edding acrylic marker and just adding in some cute dots. I allow that to dry and then mix up more resin to add in another layer. I 
I'm doing another thin layer, so again, I use the mixing stick to help push the resin to the edges. I decided to add in some iridescent flakes into the sky area, and I'm doing so with a wooden stick. And here's a clip of me demolding the next day. I added a silver trim and a top coat. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.